Hello everyone, uh, my name is Gerald and in today's episode we will continue building our login application and specifically we will explore how to use screen transformers in order to create our email field validation and password field validation. So what is a screen transformer? Okay, let's try to search for that. Screen transformer. Okay. So looking at the documentation, screen transformer requires two parameters and it's basically responsible for transforming a screen. Hmm. When a stream trans stream dot transform method is invoked with a stream transformer, the stream calls the bind method on the provided transformer. Thus, the resulting stream is then returned from the stream, stream transform method. So, what it basically does is that, looking back, looking back in our application, if we, we will create later on, or in our next video, we will create a stream that basically listens to these two fields. And uh, in that stream, we will attach or call our stream transformer to validate the inputted uh, values in each of these text fields. So uh, let's start. So let's go back to our project. Inside the SRC folder, I will add another folder called block. And this block folder will house all the business logic components of my application. Now, I will add a file inside of it and I will call this as login underscore validators dot dart. And this login underscore validators of dart uh, will be housing my login class or login validator class. So login validation. And Inside my login validation class, okay, but before, uh, I will assign two, uh, uh, two variables, final variables, uh, to validate my email field and my password field. So to do that, uh, I will name both of these as e, uh, validate email field and then validate password field. Okay. I will separate these. Now, let's go back to the documentation. So as you may notice, this uh, stream transformer class is a part of the Dart async uh, package. In this case, uh, or for this reason rather, I will be importing the Dart async package on top of my file. So import async. So that's it. Then I would be able to call my stream transformer. So my 
screen transformer requires uh, two parameters or right so both of my fields accepts string and uh, should listen to the string so I will be I say assigning type string okay and Okay. Dot from handlers creates a string transformer that delegates events to the given functions. This is what I need. Now, inside of our form handler or form handlers, we have here a property name handle data so let's type in handle data and it requires a function uh, okay. email and then I will need the second one is sync uh, similar to this right here So we will create a function basically so in this function if my email dot contains at And if it also contains a string of dot com, okay, then add my email to the sync. So that's sync dot add. And then email. Otherwise, or else, throw in an error. So that's sync dot add error, and we put a string message of enter a valid email. Okay, so we have one validation now, uh, validation method, which is validate email field. Oops, sorry about that. We'll just put the comma here. There we go. Let me try to press control and hear you. So I will be inverting the if statement uh, to simplify our code. Oh no, it does not actually. So <clears throat> let me just try to uh, shorten this up. So though uh, similar to ES6 in JavaScript, we could uh, further convert this if uh, if else statement into a ternary uh, statement so here's how we do it so just remove this if right here and instead or after that condition I will be putting question mark and then I will remove these curly braces and this word else 
Okay, I will replace this both of uh, the semicolon and else with a colon. And then because uh, I have um, auto formatting upon save, if I save this, it will automatically uh, format my code as such. So let's do the same thing with my validate password. So uh, again, let's create stream transformer uh, from handlers. And again, uh, let's create a method inside our handle data property. Uh, I could do that simply by just copying this. Okay. So after copying it, I will just change a few details. So this time it's, it will not be email, uh, it would be password, since uh, this would be later on uh, assigned in my password field. So as a condition, my password, if my password dot length, or the length of my password is greater than five characters, then add my password to the screen. Otherwise, uh, let's throw uh, an error to the sink and let's say sorry, password must be at least five characters. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to enter the type here. String, string. There you go. So we now have the login validators. So a quick recap. Uh, in this episode, we are creating another folder called block folder inside our SRC, and this is a block folder will house all our business logic components for the application. And uh, we started to create the login validators the third file, which contains the class that is responsible, uh, that contains the important methods or string transformers that are responsible for validating our email field and password field. And as soon as we assign the string transformer, we assign uh, string right here. So let's read the description of it. Okay, it's right here. So the first um, the first type right here is for this email and the second type is for the sync for the event sync uh, we use dot from handlers for this uh, string transformer 
because we need to delegate events to our given function. Okay. And right here. So we have this handle data property which requires a function that has two parameters, uh, one string and another is the event set with the type of string because uh, these types were assigned in our tra string transform. And we then created a function. For the first function, our rule is or our condition is that if the email contains an at symbol and if the email field contains dot com then we will add that email to the sync or then sync of type string otherwise let's add an error message instead of enter a valid email to our to our event sync of type string So our condition with our second string transform is that if the length of my password of our password is greater than five, then let's add that password to the event sync of type string. Otherwise, let's add an error instead to the event sync of type string. Uh, of this uh, message. So let's add this message instead in case of an error. So that's it. Uh, we will continue on the next lesson to discuss um, how to build the uh, actual login block with this login validation class and with the help of our XDAR. So, stay tuned and uh, see you on the next lesson.